From ABC7 Los Angeles, here are today's headlines. Uh, today we're reporting 46 new cases. Uh, that brings the total number of cases in LA County to 190 cases. That means we had 96 new cases over the last 48 hours. All confirmed cases are being isolated and close contacts are quarantined. Uh, we know that small businesses are the backbone of every neighborhood in Los Angeles and of our city. Um, both of my grandfathers had small businesses. I wouldn't be here without them. And these are really tough times. Some have uh, talked about going under and some are preparing for, have laid off staff. So we wanted to get, even while we're waiting for federal action, dollars out there on the streets now. So we're putting $11 million into this initially. This is of city money that we control uh, to be able to give micro credit loans of about five to $50,000 for just those things I was talking about in the press conference. You know, the basics of paying your employees, of paying your rent. Um, we also extended though a, an eviction moratorium to commercial properties. It's never been done before. I know for a lot of, uh, of landowners and some of the landlords, um, doesn't mean that they won't eventually get paid but it makes sure that people won't get evicted if that's the difference of them hanging on or not. But for the loan program, you can go to lamayor.org slash loan and apply for it. We hope to have that money roll out as early as early next week. So in just a matter of days to really make that difference between bridging whether you survive or don't. The reason is a little gross, but it's important. Experts believe the virus is mainly spread through droplets that come out of your mouth or nose. When an infected person speaks, exhales, coughs, or sneezes, the droplets travel about three to six feet before gravity pulls them to the ground. So stay six feet away from someone and you stop the spread. It's also important to try to block coughs or sneezes with a tissue or your sleeve so as not to send those droplets flying directly towards someone nearby. And what about social gatherings? CDC now recommends you avoid social gatherings of more than 10 people. That could mean cancellations of weddings, family reunions, birthday parties, even funerals. Adults who are not sick or considered to be at risk can still date, but think about an intimate dinner at home instead of going somewhere with a lot of people. For kids, one leading expert says play dates are okay, especially if they're outside in parks and involve a small number of kids. But another expert says play dates are not recommended because kids generally have more mild COVID-19 illnesses and therefore might spread the disease before anyone realizes they're sick. Get updated headlines anytime on ABC7.com and the ABC7 Los Angeles app.